Most importantly, you're going to need a rock hammer or you'll never be able to kill the boss. You're going to want the most damage that you can dish out for range and the most damage that you can dish out for melee. This is my personal setup of the gear that I bring. So on screen is what is recommended to bring. I just try and minimize the switches. I bring Slayer Helm, bring both of my necklace switches, both weapon switches, and I use Sparrow's gloves and I use Prim boots over everything else. You're gonna determine what's gonna work best for you. As far as range switches go, uh, I only have Carol's. I use definitely the necklace switch. I keep my assembler on the entire time. I use the blowpipe. This is the best in slot. I wouldn't even consider using anything else here. You're gonna either wanna use a toxic blowpipe or an SGS for your heals. Definitely recommend bringing the Berserker ring. How you're gonna do your inventory, you're gonna set it up like this to start with. You're always gonna wanna bring Alks, and I use Home Telly to get out of there and to get to the fairy ring to get there quickly. You can also use a Slayer ring. Pop all my potions, and I'm gonna put on Preserve the entire time. Fill the rest of my inventory like that. You're gonna take fairy ring code CKS. Hopefully you have the agility level to go up here. As soon as you get up here, throw on the mage. You need to have the brittle key one time. That'll unlock the stairwell. Quick start, otherwise you have to watch this massive cutscene. This one's the ranger, he's always going to attack you with range. This one's the melee one, he's going to always attack you with melee. You can only kill the ranger by shooting it with range. You can only kill the melee guy by hitting him with melee. When you're fighting the melee guy, it's always going to be protect from melee. And piety if you have it. After the wing guy flies away, if you walk underneath him, you will get fucked up for a lot of damage. See what I mean? When you're killing the ranger, it's always going to be protect from range and rigor. Quick start. Go up here, stand on this tile. As soon as I get hit, run down here. See, now I need to reset it, so I'm going to run back up here. Run back down. Don't get hit by that ice blast, otherwise you'll get frozen can't move and you can't attack for a while. Run back up, run back down. He's gonna fly away, switch to melee. Melee prey, turn on piety. Third attack, he goes yellow, run away from him, don't get hit by rocks. Go back, smack the shit out of him until he's half dead. He'll fly away, you're gonna switch back to range. Dodge the rocks. Dodge the circles on the ground. You wanna stand right next to this guy. Throw on rigor. Smack the shit out of this. Turn on range prey after this guy hits you one time. Just gotta make sure you kill us before these orbs go and fly into that nerd, otherwise it'll heal up. Done. Just barely beat it. This tile. If you ever get this thing up against the wall, you have to run into that tile, otherwise it'll take 60 damage. You have to run into the tile along the wall, like I just did there. Now you're just gonna finish the boss really important to make sure you get out of those flames though those deal the most damage out of every attack that can hit you in this boss fight and that's that's dusk and dawn down to like a science easy peasy lemon squeezy I don't think there's much more to it <laughs>